So changing of the guard is a voice calling to an entire generation of young people, those in their late teens, 20s, and 30s, to rise up in this hour and do exploits for their God. I'm very excited and I see a huge potential and purpose in our generation. That which the enemy has stolen, he's called us the X generation, X giving a connotation of writing us off like we're useless. But in God's design, we're actually priceless and we have such potential. So the, the X in the ancient world was the acrostic or the sign for Jesus Christ. So I believe our generation being Generation X is the generation for Jesus Christ to do his exploits in the earth. And so God is giving us back our identity. You know, the previous generation valued truth above relationships. Our generation values relationships above truth. What that means for us is large groups, mega churches, mega meetings sometimes don't hit the mark for, for what we need. What we need are small group settings, coffee shop experiences, relating one on one. We've grown up as a generation fatherless. We are a fatherless generation. Uh, and because of that, God the Father is, is really interested in giving us back an idea of who he is as a father. Uh, one of the ways he does that is through the body of Christ, the church. Around us, in the body of Christ, there are older and wiser mentors that God has placed in all of our lives to help train us, equip us, uh, give us wisdom. And then it's our, our calling by God to take that wisdom and combine it with our zeal and together do great works in the kingdom. The final portion of Changing of the Guard speaks to both apprentices and master mentors. And it reminds me of this great verse from Deuteronomy 31 and the imagery that's presented when it says this, Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, the time for you to die is near. Call Joshua and present yourselves at the tent of meeting that I may commission him. All right, I'm going to say a very shocking statement. In the course of one generation, we might see the extinction of Christianity. What do I mean? I mean, if our current generation of leadership, of those I call the Moses generation, don't rise up and impart to the Joshua's what they've learned from God, and enough believers around the world don't pass on their faith, it could all be over. It's critical right now for the Moses generation to rise up and learn what it means to pay the price of taking the time Time is a factor. They must learn to take the time to build their lives into younger lives around them. And this book will teach them how. A wise man is he who listens to counsel. What this speaks of is this great net of relationships that God has put around you. And I'm going to teach you in this book how to relate to them so you can gain their wisdom and move out in new direction by the Holy Spirit. I want to see a whole generation of mentors raised up, those 40 and older, who have the courage to look in the eyes of the young, give them some wisdom, and let them go. Let them do the great exploits. Let them do it differently. Have a different expression even in the ministry or the church setting or whatever context they're in than even they have. That takes courage, and in this book I share about how to do it. The enemy has done everything he can to stop our generation, and he keeps doing it through ideology, through shakings that are happening all around us. But the firm foundation stands of Jesus Christ and his calling and his commission to every individual soldier that will say yes to him. The guard is changing. I can hear the sound of that distant drum and it's signaling a change in the atmosphere, a time for us to arise as warriors, as Joshua's and take our promised land for Jesus Christ.